This is a car's clutch. It connects to the engine's flywheel on one end and to the transmission on the other. Why do we need a clutch between the engine and transmission? This is the clutch disc of the clutch. Around the clutch disc is a ring of high friction composite material. In the center is a splined hub that connects to the transmission's input shaft. It can move left and right within a small range. The clutch disc and transmission can rotate together. The other side of the clutch disc contacts the flywheel and rotates with it. When you press the clutch pedal, the clutch disc separates from the engine flywheel. This disconnects the engine power without stalling the engine, allowing you to shift gears. When you release the clutch pedal, the clutch disc grips tightly against the engine flywheel again. This makes the transmission follow the engine's rotation speed. Here's a question. How does the clutch disc get pressed against the flywheel? This requires the clutch's pressure plate. The pressure plate connects to the clutch housing on the outside and can move up and down. Between the housing and pressure plate is a diaphragm spring. When you press the center of the diaphragm spring, the outer ring lifts up. When released, the diaphragm spring returns to its original position. Then the assembled clutch pressure plate connects with the clutch disc and flywheel. As mentioned before, when you press the clutch pedal, a gap appears between the flywheel and clutch. The engine power gets disconnected, allowing smooth gear shifting. When you release the clutch, the clutch and flywheel connect again and power is restored. If you look closely, you will notice the clutch disc actually has four springs. When the clutch suddenly connects to the engine, these springs provide cushioning for smooth power engagement and engine protection.